So we don't know all of the details with the San Bernardino terrorist attack yet, but I just wanted to take a minute and just kind of reflect on the craziness of our country. Just last week, we had a uh, Christian terrorist attack, and a week later, we have now what appears to be, I mean, we don't have definite details yet, but it looks as though it's an Islamic terrorist attack. We don't know if ISIS is taking responsibility for it. We don't know many of the details yet, and hopefully by the time this video gets posted on YouTube, we'll know more. But at this point, just know that the context within which I'm speaking, it's one in which we don't have a lot of details. But I just wanted to come at this from a humanist perspective, because I think that humanism gets lost in the mix. We always kind of, individuals are just very myopic. We tend to focus on our own lives but we don't really think about the broader consequences of our actions. We don't think about, you know, how other people react and how things impact them. So I just wanted to talk about this from a humanist perspective. And as a humanist, as a very staunch humanist, where in uh, humanism basically drives my opinion on everything, I think that this is unthinkable. And anytime these types of shootings happen, even though more and more we all, myself included, kind of become desensitized to it where it's not as shocking, it's still insane when you step back and really think about this. The problem is that we just have everyone. Now, I'm not just talking about, you know, crazy people. I'm talking about most people in general. We have a fundamental misunderstanding of how we should value life. We don't value this life. There's so many evangelical Christians that are waiting for the apocalypse because they want Jesus to come back. I had someone on my friends list who uh, stated that he can't wait until Jesus comes back. Well, doesn't everyone die when Jesus comes back? Don't all the atheists and the Muslims and the Catholics and everyone else who's not a Christian go to hell? I mean, isn't, isn't that what happens? So basically, we're a culture of not really caring about this life. We're a culture of not valuing this life. If we were, we would try to reduce gun violence. We would pass universal health care legislation, we would try to end poverty, try to end mass famine, try to end homelessness, homelessness, not just in the United States, but everywhere else. Because, I mean, someone who is uh, starving in a third world country is just as human as I am. Their experience is going to be the same in terms of just typical needs and desires. People say, I'm poor in this life, hopefully I'll have a mansion and be a millionaire in the next life. But the fact of the matter is that there's no evidence that there's going to be a second life. This might be our only shot at existence at all. And it's just a, it's just a little fraction of time in the history of the universe. It's, it's so tiny. It's infinitesimal. Just our existence. We're here and then we're gone. Time flies. So I don't get why people emphasize how much better their next life will be as opposed to just trying to make life better for this life. I think that's basically the crux of humanism. We want to do everything we can to make life as amazing as possible, because this could be the only life we have. So when you switch that focus and you stop thinking about the afterlife and religion, and you focus on reality, empirical reality, which is this life, well, it becomes that much more valuable because you don't know if you're gonna have any other chances. This could be the last chance you ever get to exist. So every time we see someone who's homeless, anyone, anytime someone dies, anytime someone is suffering, we should be impacted by that. We should want to act. We should want to stop that. But we're apathetic. We don't care. Well, you know, that person's homeless, but they're gonna be blessed in heaven. Look, we're living in the now. We need to live more in the moment. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that everyone in this life is living as happy a life as they can possibly be. That means we need equal opportunity. This means that we need health care. I mean, you have the right to just live, but you can't do that if you don't have basic access to health care. And there's still a significant portion of the population that doesn't have access to health care. This means that we shouldn't allow people on the terrorist watch list to buy guns, because between 2013 and 2014, 91% of all terrorist suspects who applied for a gun, well, they were legally allowed to purchase that, 91% of them that is. So within that time frame, 455 individuals on the terrorist suspect list, how crazy is this? They're not allowed to fly on a plane, but they were allowed to buy a gun. Okay, we gotta stop this, guys. We gotta stop being crazy. We can't let money rule us. We can't let the false hope of an afterlife 
drive us. We can't just say, look, I don't care about that homeless person. I don't care about these children who have medical problems. Or you can also say, well, I care, but you know, God's going to bless them. He'll, he'll look after them and whatnot. No, 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 no. We have to put the value on this life. I think that that is extremely important. So I don't understand how the human race can't just come together and try to work out these problems as a human race. Instead, we create these imaginary borders in our minds and we say, no, I hate them. I want them to stay over there. We will draw up these uh, social constructs, such as race, because we're all a member of the human race. Now, I'm not saying that downplay racial realities and the inequalities that exist, but I'm just saying that we're all human beings. I mean, when it comes down to it, we all have the same aspirations. We all have the same hopes and dreams to just be happy. But the fact that we're so myopic and we don't care about that, we just are focused on ourselves and are not helping each other, the fact that we're not living the philosophy of wit, that is, we're in this together, it's just puzzling to me. And uh, I think that if more people adopted this humanist orientation, I don't care if you are a Christian humanist, a Muslim humanist, whatever you are, if you adopted the humanist orientation, that's great because then it really stresses the quality of this life. I don't care if you're religious. I mean, I'm an anti-theist because I think there are a lot of problems with religion. But I mean, if you are a, a religious person and you have your priorities in order and you think that, well, I'm not going to just dismiss someone's suffering because I think that they'll have a better life in the next life or in heaven. Well, if you can at least say, look, no, I'm a humanist, but I believe in helping people on this earth, then I think you're on the right track. So basically, if everyone adopted a humanist approach to the world, then we're at least on the right track. We could start coming up with solutions but these types of shootings are just mind-blowing to me. Uh, it, it's deplorable. It's unthinkable. And the fact that there are people who are willing to do this, the fact that more than one and a half shootings occur on average per day in the U.S. in 2015, it's, it's absolutely insane.